All right, y'all, moving on. Oh, Julia Fox. Oh, oh child. <laughs> I hate her makeup. I hate her makeup. Okay, anyways, Julia Fox appeared on Wednesday's episode of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen and hinted that she went on an extravagant date with Drake. When asked about the best celebrity date she's ever been on, Fox described a private jet where she's cuddled, she cuddled with someone who later gifted her with some Chanel bags. At first, Julia shared that she really couldn't say who it was, being coy. But later on, after the show, Cohen asked Julia Fox if Drake had taken her on the date, to which Fox responded with a heavy sigh. Maybe. Fox told Andy that, with a smirk, uh, shouldn't have given me that shot. So I guess she had a drink. What are your thoughts on uh, Julia teasing that she went on a date with Drake? Al, what do you think about this? And can you see that couple? Can you see him with her? Listen, I... Hollywood's got me believing all types of stuff. First of all, I don't find Julia Fox remotely attractive now. Like back in the day, she may have been attractive, but I don't find her remotely attractive. How does this, sorry, everybody, how does this white woman look like that, but bags the wealthiest billionaire, black billionaire in America, as well as the number one most talented rapper, wealthy rapper worth 300 to $500 million. How does she do that? And it, is it a trend or something that we're passing around, you know, super successful black men pass around these types for the fun of it? Like what's going on? Drake is way too handsome and wealthy to be chasing after Kanye's secondhand stuff. I, I don't, I'm, I'm confused. I don't like it. This is weird to me. How is she able to do this? All of it is a mystery. Somebody help me out. Q, Claudia, what's going on? Have you been to Hollywood? When you're a white girl like that, you, you, you can get some of the most wealthy and attractive black men, but a black girl gotta be perfect, gotta know how to cook, have no bodies, have everything in alignment, be a god fair woman. But these little skanky looking, dusty, drug addict looking types, they line up and let them find out you was with another celebrity. They line up for it because they want to sniff your drawers. I swear, they are into the girls that have had other celebrity men. I think it's a turn on for some of these men. Oh, Claudia, who wants to sniff your drawers? All of them. <laughs> Not me, girl. <laughs> you don't want to sniff no girl's drawers. So come on. <laughs> what you think, Kim? You think Julia um, Fox? You know what? Out? Julia Fox makes me hopeful in reincarnation. Like I want to come back privileged hey, and medi I want to come back privileged and mediocre in my next life just to get a feeling of it. I mean, because <laughs> if, if Julia Fox and Taylor Swift don't represent the creme de la creme of mediocrity, I don't know what does. And again, and to Al's point, Julia is not even attractive, but let's not forget, you know, I think Julia was just a pawn because let's not forget that Drake and Kanye had that little beef thing. So I think Drake probably entertaining Julia had less to do with Julia and more to do with if you can do it, Kanye, I can do it too. Can we talk you about you wanting to reincarnate as a white oh, woman? Oh yeah, I, listen, to I want to lay know, up with Drake I, I wanna... and Kanye. No, I don't care about Drake nor Kanye. I just want to know what it feels like to be mediocre and privileged. Like that—that's got to be one hell of a feeling. I'm telling you, start taking a look at who these brothers, these successful, wealthy black men date when it's not a black woman, and look at. Look at how seemingly easy it is, how low the bar is. And I'm I'm just strictly going by looks because I don't know her personality. So call me being shallow in this segment. Yes, I'm just talking about att att attractiveness, right? You would think okay. someone like Drake who has a pick of the litter, but look at all their track workers. Go ahead and look so at them. How do, how do they meet though, Claudia? Tell tell me that. Like how do they have how a website called they have an app called Raya that it's like hard to get in. You have to get approved, and they don't approve everyone. It's like okay. Three black guys on there, and like they, it's very hard to get on there. And it's like a high end um, tender. There's one way publicist hookups, you know, uh, especially these, some of these men that have uh, image and issues with their sexuality. I've had that happen where they'll reach out and say, Hey, can you go on a date with such and such? And then they want you to go to the IV or the catch or the place where they know people going to be. It happens all day long, y'all. Can you go this with me to these? Good tea. Can you go with me to these award shows? Can you go so I can look stable? Can you go with me to this event? And they drop you off at the end of the night, and then they go out with who they really want to go. Like, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I gotta write this book, y'all. Anyways, we gotta take a commercial. Go ahead and put your questions in the chat. 
uh, for all of us that we will answer the last segment. We'll be right back with more right after this.